Hello YouTube, welcome back. I am at the moment, I believe, on a boat heading towards Al Antialia and Tialia. I think. I don't know about countries and at this moment I'm just like it's fifteen days in and I don't even think I'm halfway around the world, so I'm kind of annoyed. But we will do this, we can we can do this, so let's get straight into this game. Welcome back and we're playing eighty days. I spent the afternoon rambling around Kaliksik, the historical centre of Antiali, ah, which was where I happened upon a group of Turkish dockhands unloading crates of veterinary goods to a warehouse flying the French flag. Speaking to them was a tiresome affair. I could not help feeling sorry for the French employer, one Monsieur Fon Fontanti. Um, though we've never met him, one of the one of them bitterly added, "Is he a good employer?" I asked politely, simply to make small talk. Alas, my innocent, innocent inquiry was not taken as such. Oh, why do you ask? The dock hand fired back, crossing his arms. Perhaps you are Monsieur Fonti. My name is Pass <laughs> Passy Palat. I protested. A likely story. Was there a sort? That is not even a real name. I... a most hurtful accusation. So I revenged myself by threatening to cut their pay. They apologised quickly. I gave a booming laugh and sort of... Monsieur Fondier of my imagery was boomed. Alas, behind this bluff exterior he had only recently... Um, suffered heartbreak. Um, Idrix. His wife was twenty years, had permished in the mysterious fire of our villa upon the Black Sea. Thus was a conscort in my role. I spent a cheerful, indetective, inceptive afternoon getting to know my employees and inspecting their merchandise. They cracked open a crate to reveal treasure troves of Vitanian glass glittering green-blue in the Antolian sun. I pocketed a peculiar fine piece before they bid me respect respectful farewell. Alright, let's plan. Do I have something I can sell here? Yes. I think that's it. I'm not sure, but... Uh... I want to go along there. But I can't get back up to Istanbul. Maybe going down is the better bet for me? Arrives Friday. Let's negotiate. Tomorrow? Oh my god. Out. Three days. Okay. I have to go forward. Let's stay here for a day and see if anything changes, maybe. Oops, sorry guys. See if anything changes. Stay the night. We took a room and settled in, and I escorted my master every service, enduring he was comfortable. If we go to planning again, there might be something, but I'm not 100% sure that there will be. <sighs> Friday. Wow, tomorrow. Let's get on that ride tomorrow and that'll be fine. Mark it. Alright. Valuable in Terran. Halia, Alexandra. Englishman's wardrobe. Indian train timetable. That's good because I'm going to need stuff like that. 
Okay. Can it go there? It can go there, exactly. Eastern spices. Hmm. Let's take the spices. I don't think I can take the leather braces, but that's fine. Four pound slash a hundred D. I don't know what that means. New route discovered. Anything of worth. Bombay. I haven't really taken the best journeys within this place and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to succeed but you never know. Bank. Monsieur Frog looked quite resolved. I regarded the manager. Uh, we could take our fun but it could take a few days. Nah, I don't need any more funds. Nothing really changed here. Camels, oh my god, that would take hours. But if we go all the way down and then maybe. Maybe up, maybe we can get something along here. Day 24. 80 days, I have 80 days, I just need to remember this that I, I can do this in 80 days. Sleep in the hotel and we can get going tomorrow. Come on, day 17. For the last light of the evening, I engaged another guest in conversation to find out what I could. I learned that you could pick up ancient artifacts in Baghdad and will sell for a fortune in Dubai. The most interesting slip knit. It's the part. I will embark on that journey. Let's do this. Oh, it's an ocean. This, this, this colours the ocean, it's kind of cool. Alright. Menethereti was a tall, mastered Egyptian clipper that sailed around the coastline of Antilea and Alia all the way to Andrea Ale Alexandra. I can't read, guys, if, if you noticed. My reading has always been superb. I asked the skipper if he had considered longer voyages via Suzanne Canal, but he only laughed. The fee young mans are quite extraordinate. How extraordinate, I asked. He gave me a pointing look. You will not buy me or my boat, he replied, if that is your intention. My liberty is worth more than coins you have. I nodded. I did not pursue the conversation further. Converse. Great sailor. Hold the rope, would you? What is it you want? What can you tell me of... Carigo. Carigo. I am told you can get to um, Hali from Carigo, getting Ottoman Grec's airship and its high speed journey. What can you tell me about Hali? Let me tell you that some buyers will pay well for Eastern spices from Hali. Can I travel from Halle to Rhine at uh, high? Never mind. Never mind that. You can obtain candled senses from Rose in Rally, extremely valuable in Muscat. Cargo to Halle. Nice. It's traveling, traveling, traveling. As evening drew on, the crew served. Gin's liquor, great cheer, and the captain nodded at me as the liquor was poured. Enjoy, he called, for as long as you are with us. I saluted him with my glass and savoured the cool drink as the sun went down in the fire and smoke across the sea. Have you been to Egypt before? the captain asked. It is truthfully an amazing place, the birthplace of innovation, of faults itself. Many places make such a claim, I observed. The captain laughed. Most don't have the rocks to back it up, he said. He replied, grappling himself in the most unsavoury way. Did you know the artifices have rebuilt the library? The artifices must be very wealthy guild, I observed. Indeed they are, he replied. What good building is a new library does, does them, I do not know, since everything in the artifacts was once lost. But it gives me hope that the country can be great once more. The la we landed in the harbour at Bakrak just after dark. 
I suggested to Monsieur we leave the ship um, incurring happily enough. Oh, damn it. I should have stayed on the ship. We found no true hotel, only a boarding house of rooms around a central courtyard in which a fountain danced and previous people sat and talked in the hushed tones. As we looked around, I found something suspect in every pair of eyes I met, so I retired quickly, wanting to avoid trouble, but their voices seemed to echo around the structure and into my dreams. Knives the, t knife the tall one. So much money, I would never have believed it. Weak as a kitten. I placed a pillow over my head and stayed put, but my eyes would not close as though someone had prompted them open with toothpicks. I stayed where I was, simply listening as the voices uttered threats after threats against my person, my master, our journey. I woke with a pounding headache and a nervous twitch in one eye. I hope it would disappear as we left soon. Let's depart. The sooner I can get going, the sooner I can uh, get out of here and move on. We sailed once aboard the Nephia led first light, uh, back out into the glittery waters of the Mediterranean Sea. News. Fog attempts round, attempts round the world adventure. Huh. So that's news, huh? We went aboard and was surprised by the atmosphere on deck. The sailors were stretched out on the deck, enjoying a moment of calm. An hour or so later, we were swarming in the riggy of the mass, bringing us slowly towards the busting plot of Alexandra. As we came ashore, it was, it was too... I gasped at the sight of the towering lighthouse that blazed a beacon of incredible gold light across the water. The artifacers had indeed been busy, the sailor gestured for us to follow. But we decided to stop here for the night rather than heading to Caligo. The lighthouse was too intruding. Market. Ah, yes, I am happy I stopped here. Anything I can sell here for money. Carrots. Mm, Hali. Yeast and spices are valuable in Hali. Uh, of interest, you see dogs and shoulder chips. Dubai. Rum. With a bolt of silk. Hali. And you. Thank you, Marketplace. I will buy everything from you. Airships. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Interesting. Explore. New routes discovered. I can get to Susie if I wanted to. I'd been surprised to hear that the site of the ancient library of Alexandra had been purchased by the Great Artificers Guild. The practical ladies and gentlemen of the guild were not so kindly to indulge in such sentimental indeed odds. I went inside. A long hall were called by some hidden gentle humming mechanics mechanisms. The students moved about the calm factoriousness uh, and natural lament. Mm. Everything was in superb working order. Condors were lit with electricity and the doors slid open as we approached. As I wandered, to, wandered the campus, I passed a room from which the, a curious green light flickered. I peered through the keyhole and observed a strange sight. A young woman laboured over a projector of some kind, which threw light out into the wall via a tiny aperture. But from where I peered through, I could not see what was projected. Uh, no Thampes then. 
I left the door and explored the rest of the site, finding nothing but empty workshops and half-made contraptions. Alright, I got a choice. Is that where- yeah, I'm gonna have to go this way. Because I have so much to sell there. Bang dad. Yep, I'm going further into Egypt. So I'm going to cargo. Which leaves tomorrow. That's fine. I can do that one. I keep pressing that button. It's not that button I meant to press. We'll stay for a night. We passed the night here. As the night fell, I afforded my masters every service. Hey, health goes up. Relationships strengthen slightly. Alright, I'm going to end it here and we are going to depart next episode. I hope you have enjoyed, I have enjoyed playing, and I will see you in the next episode of 80 Days or whatever else I decide to film. Bye guys!